Hi everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, um, you would be crazy not to notice. This is definitely a different angle for my videos. I am trying out new things, I'm trying to kind of get the hang of my new space still, and uh, that's my room right behind me. That's my bed, that's my nightstand, that's my lamp, that's my coat tree, but it's really just a hat rack with some handbags on it. And um, you can kind of see like a different angle of like my beauty space right here. So I am headed home on vacation. Actually, by the time you're watching this, I'm going to already be on vacation with my family, with my friends, and I promise you I'm going to be having a blast. So by the time you watch this, that's already going to be in full effect. So I want to do a really quick what's in my makeup bag. And I'm afraid it's not going to be very quick though. So I know you're used to my videos being really short and sweet. So maybe you've been just dying inside for me to do a longer video. This one's it. So here we go. I'm going to show you what's in my, my bag. And by bag, I mean bags. Because I pack, I'm a compartmental packer. So I keep everything kind of like separate. So I'll show you my packing strategy. Um, I travel all over the world on a regular, well, I don't travel all over the world on a regular basis, but I travel a ton and over the last like 15 years have been traveling consistently internationally and um, in the States. And so I've got a pretty good packing structure, a pretty good packing system in place. So I'm going to show you how I pack and how I pack makeup. And the funny thing about this is I'm packing all this makeup, but I'm going home where it's hot and I'm going to be swimming and be in the pool and like all that kind of stuff and like just be with my friends and family so we'll see if I actually even really wear very much makeup so I don't know I mean could be just a waste to bring this much but I'm driving home so I've got the space in my car here we go okay oh my gosh you can't see my top knot it's like so big it's like doesn't even fit in the screen but I figured I needed to zoom in so that you could see me better so um we're gonna start with my lipstick so I'm packing my lipsticks in this Chanel bag that I love I'm bringing a lot of lipsticks home, and I don't know if I'll ever even wear any of them except for going out at night. Um, of course, I'm bringing my YSL 15, like my coral like color that you see me talk about all the time. I'm bringing that home. I'm bringing a couple of my lip tars home. Now, to be fair, I really haven't been using my lip tars very much, um, but I'm bringing them home because I want to kind of show my mom. She's really curious about them, so I'm bringing nylon, hoochie, and iced home. Uh, plus, they're kind of actually really fun if you're going out and you're going to be like eating or whatever, then they kind of stay on really well. So I'm bringing those home. I'm bringing Marilyn Love Goddess home because I needed like a red, or at least I think I need a red. Um, I'm bringing Mac Saint Germain home just because it's like such like a great like pink, like a blue undertone pink and I love it. Um, I'm bringing Mac Sunny Soul because you know I love that one. This is probably what I'll end up wearing most. Um, that or like Blossom Culture or something like that. I don't know. Um, I'm bringing Hue. I'm not bringing Hue. I'm gonna leave Hue. I don't need Hue. Leaving that one home. Um, I'm being. I'm bringing Maybelline Hot Plum. Now you can see that. Actually, I don't need to bring this home because I've got this in a palette. You can see how that's hacked off. It's because I've got that in a palette in my purse. So Hot Plum is staying too because I'm actually really bringing it, but I'm not bringing the two. Um, I'm also bringing MAC Candy Yum Yum. Probably that's really more what I'll be wearing. I love Candy Yum Yum so much. So bringing that one. Um, I'm bringing MAC Nikki too from the Viva Glam. I've been kind of into this purple lip lately, so we'll bring that. I'm also bringing the lip glass that goes with that one. Um, I'm bringing Milani Nude Cream. Gosh, I just have to smell it all the time. I think it smells so good. So I'm bringing that one so I have a nude lip, especially since I took Hue out. And then Blossom Culture, which I already referenced. Um, and I love it so much. Such a pretty, like, pinky coral, like, color. Um, and then glosses. Um, I'm bringing the Nikki Gloss. I'm bringing my favorite NYX Butter Gloss um, in Apple Strudel. It's, like, the corally color. I don't think the lighting's very good. I don't think these colors are gonna pull the right colors. Um, I'm bringing the MAC White Cut Loose Gloss that I love. And then I'm bringing the Maybelline Rose Lust from the Maybelline, Maybelline Limited Edition. Love that. So that's kind of my lipsticks. Obviously I've got a palette of, um, in my purse that's always there that I'll have. And then I've got, all my liners are in my purse and so I'm bringing those home also. But this is what's going, those are my lips, lipsticks. Next bag, um, I have one of these MAC 
bags. Actually, I actually have two of them and I can't find the other one. Um, I don't know what happened to it when I moved a couple weeks ago. It wasn't with my other stuff, which is a real bummer because I love these and I usually use both of these. So I'm using one of these. So this is onto my face, like products. So um, foundations, I'm bringing MAC Pro Longwear SPF 10 in NW25. This is my darker color right now because I've been using some self tanner on my face. Um, so I'm bringing that. And then I'm bringing the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and SPF 20 Oil Free. I'm bringing this um, foundation too. I'm really debating on whether I'm going to bring Naked. I might bring my Naked foundation. I'm not sure. And then I'm also bringing my MAC Strobe Liquid Lotion. And I have today on my face, which I don't know that you can really see. I just look like I'm like oily because I've been out running around. Um, but I used Strobe with my pro long wear today like i mixed these two together and so i put this all over my face with my foundation today um so those those three things are coming with me um i'm bringing i'm bringing two different primers um and you're gonna be surprised because i'm not bringing my miracle blur but it's kind of big and so i wanted some smaller ones so i'm taking uh the poor professional by benefit which you know i love this is one of my holy grail primers um i really like this one you know Somebody recently asked me what the difference between Miracle Blur and like this is. Miracle Blur is definitely for uh, older skin. If you are a young viewer, um, if you are under 30, you don't probably really need Miracle Blur at this point at all. Um, but if you're over 30 and you're starting to notice fine lines and that kind of stuff, Miracle Blur is probably more for you. But if you know, or if you've had, if you've been really bad on your skin in your 20s, Miracle Miracle Blur would be great for you. But for you young young gals, you young glitter gr glitter girls. Um, you don't need that yet because your skin already looks young still. So, so a, a great primer is like Pore Professional. Um, it's oil free, lightweight, super silky. I love it. This is a great one and it just minimizes your pores and then kind of just gives a really great base for your makeup for the day. So I'm bringing that one and then I'm bringing my hourglass little set. It's the hourglass veil primer and the primer serum base because I'm actually trying to use these up. So I'm almost out. I'm, I'm almost done with these two and so I'm taking them so I can use them up. Um, I should probably just take those and not take Pore Professional but I need options. Uh, I'm taking um, Benefit Posy Tint and Benefit Sunbeam because I love these. This is a great cheap combination right now especially for the summer. Um, so those are really fun. I'm taking those. I'm bringing, um, I'm obviously bringing Bronze Universal by Chanel. Um, I love this. This is what I've been using as my makeup base before I put my makeup on just to kind of warm up my face because my foundation's a little bit light with when you put some tanner in the mix. So this kind of helps warm that up. Um, I'm just bringing one concealer because I think it might be the only concealer I have actually. I'm looking right now in my, I think this is my only concealer and I just use this under my eyes like kind of right in here. I don't do all the way up under my eyes. I just do kind of right in here. Makes a big difference. So this is the NYX photo HD concealer. You've heard me talk about this and my color is pale. So this is like the best concealer I've ever found and it's like four or five dollars. So if you can get it, grab it. Um, I'm bringing Urban Decay 24 seven concealer pencil in M16. Um, now M16 is this like crazy dark color because this is my contour. Um, right there, right there, down my nose, blend it in with my foundation. This is my contour pencil for a really easy contour. Um, I'm bringing, um, I'm bringing my Chanel Double Perfection because I use this as a kind of a setting powder just to kind of do some like spot setting and my color is Ivory Beige. Um, I think this is really a foundation but I don't use it as a foundation. I'm not really that into powder foundations. Um, I like Bare Minerals, that's a good one and there's a couple others but the mineral ones I'm not really into like a pressed powder foundation but for doing some spot like powdering in the t-zone which is where I'm oily I love that product right there um, I'm bringing hourglass luminous light that pretty like champagne like rosy one of course I'm bringing Mac nude on board bronzer because I'm obsessed with it I love it so much um, I'm also bringing Bobbi Brown <laughs> Shimmer Brick in Beige. I have this all over today. I love this. I've been wearing this a ton. Um, and then I'm bringing Stila Convertible Color, like Cream Blush and Fuchsia. And I'm bringing MAC Prep and Pot. And I'm bringing MAC Prep and Pot. Prep. <laughs> Why can't I say this? I'm bringing MAC 
prep and prime like powder so that's kind of the face stuff except for blushes I haven't shown you what I'm gonna really bring for blushes other than that Stila one so that's a lot of products like I said I just need I need options I totally need options okay I'm bringing my Z palette blush blushes and you can see I've got five Inglots Inglot um, blushes in there. I've got one MAC and then I've got two Tarte Amazonian clays. And I'm just bringing the whole palette because I love it. Palettes travel easily. They're awesome. Um, as far as eyeshadow goes, now I've been really trying to figure out like what I'm going to do. Whether I was going to bring my Inglot palette, which I love. Um, and I've actually decided not to. I'm bringing my MAC palette in like neutrals uh, because I I have been loving these and I know you're gonna want me to do swatches of my matte collection and um, if you want me to do that go ahead and thumbs up this video and that will tell me that you really want to see it and that will motivate me to pull all these out and swatch them because that's a lot of work so I'll do it if you want to see it um, God, right now I have seriously been loving this eye combination using blackberry which is that one right there and um, the melon pigments like the orange like gold melon pigment from Mac that's what I have in my eye today which I don't think you're really gonna be able to see in this lighting but um, it's really pretty I love it I'll try to do actually I'll try to do a tutorial on that because that's a really easy look and it's really fun and people comment on it all the time to me so I think for eyeshadow I've decided that I'm bringing my Mac palette and right now I'm a little bit on the fence about bringing my um, potentially bringing my nude tude just because I've really been using it a ton lately and what the heck I'm gonna bring it another uh, I know you're thinking what do you need all this makeup for you're going home to be with your family you're right I'm thinking the very same thing I don't know what I need all this makeup for um, okay so I'm definitely bringing those are, so those are my eyeshadows that I'm bringing and blush Okay, now additionally for my eyes, I'm bringing um, in this little cute Benefit um, cosmetic pouch. I'm bringing the rest of my eye products. And I should have told you too that I'm bringing Fix Plus, MAC Fix Plus, brand new bottle of this. I love this stuff. It's just refresh my face right now. Um, but I use this for eyeshadows. I use this for, I'll mix this in my foundation. I use this as a, pri uh, like a prep spray. I use this as a setting spray, a refresher spray. Uh, this is really a great product for a lot of uses. So I'm bringing that. Uh, also in my like eye bag is my Anastasia Brow Duo in Ebony. And the little double-ended pencil, um, like, I mean, double-ended brush and spoolie that comes with that. I'm bringing that. And then also for my brows, I'm bringing the um, eye pencil from MAC in Stud. It's just a dark brown. Um, gives me a good kind of like line I can't wait to go home because Shani will do my brows at the waxing lounge and I have not had my brows waxed since I moved to LA I've been tweezing them and stuff like that but I do a horrible job I've said this before my brows are like the bane of my existence hence the the fringe that helps hide them so that's my brow stuff and then a couple liners that I'm bringing a couple pencil liners actually that I'm bringing um I'm bringing benefit bad gal waterproof I'm bringing the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white, or milk, or whatever it's called. Milk. It's their white one. I'm also bringing the one in purple, the same, the Lavender Jumbo Crown. I talk about those all the time. And I'm bringing the Color Girl, co <laughs> I'm bringing the Cover Girl Liquid Line Blast Liner in purple. Um, I don't know if you can really see this. That's even purple. It's kind of a plummy purple. It's really pretty. Um, and then, just for fun, I'm throwing the Lisa Wattier Eye Shine in Peacock. Whoa, I need it sharpen that that is totally dull so just in case I need a fun really like turquoisey one while I'm home I am bringing um Ooh La Lift by Benefit for my under eye love this before under eye concealer Urban Decay um eyeshadow primer potion I'm bringing this I don't love this but my I told you guys last week that my stay don't stray like sucks right now it's all separated so I'm bringing a sample of this um but I'm bringing Paint Release by MAC as my eyeshadow base and this paint pot I love it if you don't have this this is really worthwhile worth getting um, for your matte collection mascara wise I'm bringing Smashbox eye primer 
you know that I can't live without this. A lash primer, not eye primer, lash primer. I'm bringing two different mascaras. I'm bringing MAC Hot and Naughty 2 Black. I love this one, Black Lash, with a little pink, or the purple, with the purple sparkly top. And then I'm bringing, um, I just started using this. This is the Maybelline, the Falsies Big Eyes. And this is the one that has the double-ended brush, so it has the big, thick, chunky, like, spoolie. And then, oh, I just stabbed myself and got it all over. That was a mess. And then it also has, um, I love it, the little tiny, like, brush, which is, like, perfect for my lower lash line. A little bit kind of, like, MAC Hot and Naughty in the sense that there's, like, the two different brushes. But this lower lash line brush is amazing. It's so fine. It's perfect. I'm bringing Maybelline Line Stiletto, uh, for eyeliner I love that one I'm also bringing Mac black track fluid line eyeliner um, I'm bringing just I'm only bringing two pigments I'm bringing I'm bringing melon and vanilla because I've been using them a ton so the orangey gold and then the white one and then the last thing I'm bringing for my eyes is my sharpener which I actually need to use that right now and sharpen some things so I think that's it I think that's what's in my makeup bag I think that's going what's going home with me and to be honest, I'm probably going to throw my naked foundation in there at the very last minute. I just know myself and I know I will. So that's going to go home with me too. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm taking home uh, with me on vacation, makeup wise. And, you know, I'll do a what's in my bag when I'm going to Africa next month. That'll probably be a really interesting contrast. I obviously am still taking makeup to Africa. I'm not that girl that's going to like run around Africa without makeup on because... I don't do that anyhow, but I will certainly not be taking very much with me. So we'll do the compare and contrast vacation at home with my friends and family versus Africa makeup bags. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys are having a great week. Bye.